Come on guys, my name is Mauricio Crispium and today's video is to show you how to run a flowchart on Ikin's small VRV system. This is another video from us and our objective here is to share more and more knowledge about VRV, VRF as air conditioning professionals and refrigeration technicians. Da. So Daikin is one of the most important players in this market, and we are going to create a simple, very easy, small system, but that's where we start, okay? As I told you, we are going to make the system very small because that is how we have to treat it initially. So our system will be made up of one, two, three, four evaporators, a small apartment here, a 2.5 HP evaporator in the living room, a 1 HP cassette in each of the bedrooms, a 1.5 HP cassette in the suite. The condenser we chose is a 5 HP condenser. So once again, we say that this video is aimed at professionals, for air conditioning installers, for refrigeration technicians. So we assume that you have already chosen the evaporators that will be used in your system. Da. Let's get to the software itself. Daikin software for calculating VRV systems is Express. Da. It is software, but it is not a program that you install on your computer. It is just an executable file. This executable file, which is the software itself, will be in the video description for you to download and install and paste on your desktop. You just put it on your desktop. There is no installation process. Each time you open it, this software will check for updates, so you can choose whether to update or not. So let's go. So starting, we open the software here, Express. And the first thing is when we enter for the first time, we see preferences here in this tab here, preferences, and we will choose the units with which we're going to work and other parameters as well. Da. Brazil, temperature in degrees Celsius, ambient cooling, dried bubo temperature, relative humidity, pressure, this here is the static pressure of our evaporator. Let's put it in kilopascals, length of our piping in meters, dimensions of the equipment in millimeters, dimension of the piping to Brazil. It's easier for us to reason. Let's put it in inches. The capacity of our effective unit in BTU per hour, specific heat, kilojoule per kilogram, weight in kilograms, surface in square meters. And here we leave this flow rate here of water and the flow rate for when we use a water condenser. Is that right? We don't have to enter anything in diagrams, data entry. This is important. It's how it will call the prefix that it will call each of our internal units. Da. So I'm going to call it evap. And we call the external unit conde, so it goes. If I put the prefix as evap, then the first evap he calls evap1, the second evap2, the third evap3, and so on. The same thing with conde. Da. Advanced. This is very important here. So let's click here on enable workarounds and let's deal with concurrency. So let's say that our capacity can go from 70 to 130 percent. Beauty. Citizen. Drive selection also click. Also click here. Enable manual internal drive selection. He says it's not recommended but I say it's exactly the opposite. It will not meet the capacity demanded by the environment. Once again, this video here is for the air conditioning installer. We have already chosen the evaporator that we will use. Da. So let's go enable manual selection. Da. Go. Calculating the discharge temperature of the internal unit can be interesting as well. Da legal. Okay. Is it cool? Okay. Piping, let's say, has all the same diameters. 
Export is fine. Display with copy error. Fossil. Make a list containing. Look, this is also important. Make a list containing all the materials, and I also make a list for each system. You can have a bill of material encompassing all systems together if you have more than one system in your report, or you can have a separate list for each system or both. Let's click here on both things for our report. Beleza. Beauty. So let's name our project. I'll call it Testone. Mm. Customer name Test. Test on also reference A, revision A. Okay, so 410 refrigerant, 50 hertz that we are in Brazil. So the first thing we need to add internal units. Each manufacturer has a different nomenclature. So I advise you go into the manufacturer's software, at least download the commercial catalog to find out the equipment that manufacturer is making available in Brazil. So we've already done this with Daikin. We downloaded the Fitline catalog, and here we have the Fitline equipment available. So there are equipment in the range of 0.8 to 10 HP. As we're going to make a small system, it won't be necessary. And Daikin, the capacity index of its equipment is neither in HP nor in Kbubba. It is in what location? So, for example, 2.5 HP equipment, it has the index 63. So we come here, for example, with the K-Seven round flow, which would be the K-Seven four-way. It's not quite the four-way because it's better than the four-way because it inflates over its entire surface. The K-Seven one-way that we will also use. What is the K-Seven one-way here? Boom. Come on, where is he? It's here almost biting us, because even one way, the FX is that the 1 HP one will be the 25, the 1.6 HP one will be the FX EQ40. So let's go back to our program, our image, to remember. So I'm going to have a condenser, I'm going to have the living room equipment, I'm going to have the bedroom equipment, and the suite equipment. Let's go then. Let's go. Here, add internal drives. So let's go. Already called Evapon manual selection. I said I'm going to put a four-way cassette, which is the round flow cassette, which is index F, 2.5 HP cassette. Here it is. Look, 2.5 HP cassette. It's here. It's index 63. Let's go there. FX, I added it. That's it. He already put it there. Okay. Let's add one more internal unit. What unit are we going to add now? Cassette in one way. So, FX EQ, let's add cassette and a 1 HP track, which is the 25. I added one, there are two. I added it again. It's already here. There are two K-Sevens and a 1 HP road. Let's add the last machine, K7, a 1.5 HP road, which is the FXEQ40. Okay, I'll close. Okay. Let's now select our external drive. Okay. So here would be to add air-cooled outdoor unit. Here, it would be a water-cooled external unit. Then add, uh, what equipment do we have available here? We have the Innova 220 volts, the Innova 380, the single phase fit. And here, I don't even know which one this is. Uh, this action is the three phase fit 220, which will have 10 HP and the three phase fit 380 which will have 2 HP. So let's go to the single phase fit. A 3 HP condenser is shown here. Why? Because I didn't put any evaporator on it. 
So we come here, select, click on the first one, control, come and click one by one, select the four, right click and take them here into my condenser. Okay, I hung four evaporators here. It automatically brought me two options, one with 6 HP concurrency, 102%, and one with 5 HP simultaneity, 122%. Residential application, 122%. Calm. I click here, okay. So you already have my system. Please note that the Ekin software even draws a preview of the piping, if applicable. We will see this here now. Yeah. Look, he has already placed our 5 HP Conde and our evaporators here in sequence. This here is just a visualization. We could, when it is vertical, we can also place this visualization horizontally. Yeah. Yeah. Here we zoom in, for example, we can go to zoom 150%. 100%. Here's our evaporator one, evaporator two, evaporator three. Down. You could move it here too, okay? I can come here and get this machine and play it here, right? Let's go, play it here, okay? Evaporator three, but let's take it back here, okay? One, two, three, and four, let's go. Here she goes. One, two, three, four. Here and there. One, two. Let's go back to this one here. Three and four. We return to our original configuration. Then I come here and click. Enter the length of each section of pipe. He already defined the piping, but I don't have the length. So I come here in my drawing. Duh. So my condenser is here. I'm going to walk four meters. Why four meters? Because it will travel one meter horizontally at the top, but the pipe comes out through the floor. Then it leaves the ground, rises three meters, and moves another one meter horizontally, four meters. Down. So we click here. I'm going to walk four meters as she left the ground, made a curve, reached the top, another curve, two curves. Okay. So let's move on to my second section of piping, which is this one from my cassette. So I'm going to walk three meters and I'm going to make a turn. Come on. Three meters, a turn. Okay. Let's go back to our figure. Okay. It will walk per second, refine five meters, making a curve. Two clicks, five meters, one turn. Let's go here to the first evaporator. Six meters, one, two curves. Six meters, two curves. Okay. Okay, between the two refinements, three meters, straight line, three meters. Here again, six meters, two curves. And for our last evaporator, we will walk four meters and make a turn. Four meters, a curve. Okay, our system is ready in terms of piping. It has already been calculated here. It shows the standard factory load and the additional factory load of 1.1 kilos. Duh. Wiring, what happens when it comes to wiring? He is showing us here the equipment connection diagram. You will power it here and the phone F2 communication cable. But what is he showing us here? That he did for each evaporator, he put wired remote control. This may be standard, 
It is out in Japan, but here in Brazil, the standard for us is wireless control. So we have to go back here to our internal unit, make two optional clicks here, and we place wireless remote controller here. Okay. So this I select it, it came here, and I'm going to remove the wired remote control, which is the wired one. Let's remove it. Okay. 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 If we go here to the piping, in the wiring, we can already see that it is dotted here, showing that it is wireless control, and there is no longer a communication cable connecting it. So let's go back here to the internal units. Let's do the same with all the others. Options, wireless controller. Okay, select, and I'm going to remove the control here, the wired control, okay? Okay, same thing here, wireless options, select, remove the other one here. And my last one here, optional, select, remove. Okay, let's go to the wiring. It is already showing all my evaporators with wireless control. We also have the option of using centralized control. The centralized control here in Brazil, the best seller today would be Haley for Office. No Haley Mill, no. hate it for home. I home, I put it here, I bring my evaporator and my control here, the central control here. Okay, my system is completely ready. Yeah. Don't. So I come here in reports and I will ask to create report. Oh, there's something I forgot here. Look, in the internal unit, Daikin has a system called DGT, which is to avoid the use of welding when you splice the tubes. Uh, is this is Daikin's unique system. I'm going to remove it from the report because the report generates a list of material that you can use when you make your quote. The inclusion of this DGT may even slightly confuse your report. So I'll take it from our report here. Yeah. Let's go back to the reports. I'll ask we can create a report in Word, in Excel, the drawing on the card, and export the list of materials too. So I'm going to ask you to create the report. Da. My project was not saved. Should I save it now? Yes. Da. So I'll call it a test. Da. And my test report too. Two. Place one. Okay. Ready. I already have my report here with the list of materials. It's the dog that wants to get in here. There's no way. Done. So there is our report with all the details, with the equipment consumption, with the copy, with the simultaneity, with the additional referent load, with the layout of our. Uh, Let's zoom in here, put the page width here. Our sharpening power communication cable complete. Da. Our report here with all the information we collected in a few minutes that you needed to run your flowchart. Double. It's okay. So guys, what I had to show you is this. I hope the video wasn't too long. I hope it helps. Did you like it? Subscribe to the channel, click like, and we will continue to put a lot of content out there for you all the time. It's okay. Thanks. Big hug to everyone there.